So I thought I'd shed some light on this since no one's really talking about it. Um, Jake Paul's promoter is a guy named Tony Holden. You know, he's on the left here. And he lives in my area, not far from me. He lives in a place called uh, Miami, Oklahoma. And uh, there's a casino out there, Buffalo Run Casino. I think he has some ownership of it, or he may own it outright. Um, but he holds a lot of fights there. He also does some fights for ESPN. He manages a lot of fighters. But the one he was most known for managing was Tommy Morrison. And, uh, you know, obviously Tommy Morrison was very popular in Oklahoma. You know, he lived in Jay, Oklahoma. That's where he was from. And uh, Tony was his promoter. And Tony and his son Bryce have been promoting... I think they promoted the last fight, I know for sure, with uh, Tyron Woodley, and they were going to do this one as well. I don't know if they had done Jake Paul's fight with uh, Woodley previously in Askren, but he's the current manager of Jake Paul. So people who are talking about, you know, Jake Paul calling the shots promotionally, no. You know, Jake Paul is in charge of who he fights, but uh, Tony and his son, and those are the people who would lose money if they didn't sell tickets. And uh, one thing I found interesting was uh, Tony made a post on Facebook. Uh, he do, he's not really on social media very much, but he made a post on his Facebook about, you know, Jake Paul's in charge of picking his opponents, but he didn't really mention anything about the ticket sales. So he didn't deny what people have been saying. He just didn't talk about it. And a non-denial is kind of confirmation, right? So it's probably likely that they weren't selling tickets, which is why they didn't bother getting anyone else or trying to work things out with the Seam Rockman somehow. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, people that are saying that uh, Jake Paul is the one who's calling all the shots here when it comes to finances, no. You know, he's just in charge of the, the people he's fighting and also the BS that he puts in their contracts to try and put them at a disadvantage. You know, he's obviously doing that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, so this shedding some light on uh, who Tony Holden is, you know, and uh, actually his father was a preacher, so it's kind of funny that he's promoting someone like Jake Paul. But, uh, yeah, he's a good guy, you know, and uh, I actually heard him speak at uh, the debut of uh, the ESPN 30 for 30, Tommy. I saw him speak with Tommy's wife, Dawn, first wife. And, uh, yeah, he had a lot of interesting stories to talk about related to Tommy that were really cool. So, a uh, good guy and uh, kind of behind the scenes. You know, he's not out front, so that's why a lot of people probably don't even know that he's managing Jake Paul. <laughs>